Welcome back to the Talos Principle. So for this first sort of zone hub area, I have finished all of the main puzzles. And I've also gotten most of the stars, but there's a couple of stars that still elude me. And there's a couple of other things that I want to check out. So before I move on, I'm going to just go around and see if I can find some special stuff. So I'm going to go do that right now, and I will be right back. I have promised you eternal life. But know that eternity may only be attained by those who serve a purpose greater than themselves. All else is decay. So it was written in the hidden words before the beginning of time. Okay, that's kind of creepy. So I'm just going back to zone... Or, I don't know if you call it zone, but, uh, like, puzzle number one. Because I still have a star that I have not gotten here. And that's when he, that's what he said as soon as I came in here. It sounds like he was basically threatening me. He's basically saying, you don't get eternal life. If you go around trying to do stuff selfishly. And I'm pretty sure what he means is basically trying to get the star. Hmm. Now here's what, here's what I keep wondering though is, what, like, is this reverse psychology or something? Again, what is the point of these tests? Why am I being tested and what am I supposed to, what am I really solving? With these puzzles, you know, what am I really solving? What am I really accomplishing? Are they looking for somebody who's not going to do what they're told? Is that some sort of a test for someone who is not... Uh, is, is that a sort of test for someone who is human? Someone who is alive and conscious? Is someone who won't do what they're told or something? I don't know. Or maybe he's not supposed to act that way and it's just because they haven't done any maintenance on the servers in like 50 bajillion years, perhaps he's gone a bit awry. Maybe Elohim has a bit of a god complex. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna keep looking around and I'll be right back. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I just found the star for level one. I haven't confirmed it yet, but here's what I did. So I was just going around in third person because it allows me to kind of see over stuff easier. Looking around for any places that I have not visited. You know, any walls that I might be able to jump over. And I was looking at this. I was thinking, hmm, I don't remember going in there. And then I was looking at the boundaries, like, you see, this goes this goes through over there, but the wall, you know, isn't closed, there's no doorway. And this over here, that's gated. So there is, uh, there's a puzzle place inside of here, but there's a gate there, so you couldn't enter it from there. So I'm pretty sure I haven't been in there, and there's a doorway there, right around where his head is when I jump. And I bet there's a star in there. That's what I was thinking. So then I was thinking, okay, how do I get there? So I was thinking I need to get on the wall. There's this thing. Is that enough? No. Then I was looking around and I just found this. You can actually jump up on this. And I got up on the wall before. Let me just see if I can do it again. It might be easier to do in first person. I'm not sure. Let me try. <laughs> what do you bet that's it? There's a star in there. Is there anything else I could do, though? I mean, this actually opens up a lot. Yeah, this really opens up a lot. Um, well, let's just assume the star is in there and try to go get it. Although, if it isn't, how am I going to get out out of here. There's gotta be a way out, right? Surely they wouldn't trap me. Oh god, please don't trap me. What would be funny if, is if this wasn't actually where the star was. 
Oh, wait, is it in there? No. Oh god, this isn't where the star is? What have I done? Am I trapped? Please, no. This isn't good. I thought for sure this was it. Freaking star tease. Let me out! <gasps> okay, I think my only hope for getting out is... It feels like I'm meant to stand here. Anyway, I think my only hope for getting out is, like, these things. Am I seriously trapped? Am I actually trapped? There's no way. There's no way they wouldn't expect you to do something like this. No way in hell. How the fuck do I get out of here? I mean, I could just reload my game, I suppose, because I don't think it's saved since I got in here, but surely you're not expected to reload. Surely. Surely? I really feel like the star should be right here. It might... Well, no, I already looked over there, right? It's not in there. Yeah, it's not. Um, I might have to reload my game. I don't see a way out. Oh, I feel like I should be able to make that. But I think it might just be rejecting me. One of those weird collision things where they, if they decide to uh, coat it in non-stick spray, I guarantee you can't stay on it. What the hell, I didn't even jump. Alright, that's weird. Let's hope it didn't. Use this when feeling stuck. Yes, I, I do feel stuck. You can hold X to reset. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you, game. Let's try that again. What if I go the other way? Um, I don't think I can make that jump over there. That doesn't go anywhere. That doesn't go anywhere, but this goes many, many places. So let's just follow it and see what happens. Uh, uh, don't kick me off. Yeah, you really could t get totally stuck. Ugh. The world's disappearing. What if I go outside of the map? This is weird. I mean, it almost looks as if I'm not intended to be here, but surely you are. I mean, there's no way they didn't know about this. Yeah, there's no way. They knew about this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many places I could go. Look at this. Oh jeez. The star could be anywhere. Hey balls, how you doing? I want to see what happens if I just, like, start running out. I 
Okay, cool. Uh, I'm free. I've escaped the game. The beginning Whoa. The beginning. Okay, so you can't get too far out. Gotcha. No! Okay, so that obviously leads many places. I just need to find out where the star is in those places. So I'm going to go explore that some more, and I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know if this is related to the star, but I did just find something here. There's a power cable and this. Did that just open... I think that just opened that. Was this closed? Oh yeah, that's a puzzle over there. This is not. Okay, maybe the star is in here. That did open it, right? Yeah. Hmm. So I don't think you actually need to use this trick to get the star then. Interesting. Well, let's see what's in here. I mean, it might not be a star, it could be something else. You know, walkie-talkie or some other kind of secret. So, let's be careful, look for any super-secret special thingies. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, by the way, a little while ago, is uh, I was wondering after... Well, <laughs> let me start again. After listening to one of these time capsule things, I think it was the latest one where Alexandra Drennan was talking about how she was visiting Pompeii. And I was thinking that maybe this place was inspired by Pompeii. But I didn't know what Pompeii actually looked like, so I wasn't quite sure. Well, I did a Google image search, and this place is definitely inspired by Pompeii. I'm not sure if it's set directly in Pompeii or just inspired by it, but yeah, if you Google images... If you do a Google search for Pompeii, then this looks exactly like it. But it's behind a force field. So maybe I do need to be on the walls to get to it. Hmm. Hmm. That door I need to somehow, by using the walls, extricate a jammer from one of the puzzle rooms. Or, may happenstance, there's a switch. Hmm. Alright, so I don't think there's any use in staying in here. Um, yeah, so let's see. Starting from here, can I follow the wall? If I was up on the wall, would I actually be able to get over here? Maybe? Maybe. Let's go try it. Oh, that's neat. He's got a little doohickey on his hand. I love doohickeys. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Third person. Okay, um... I can definitely make it over here if... If I can make it to this wall right over here without falling over. Okay, we're good. Now it's just a matter of continuing to not fall off. Yeah, let's go this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Weird collision. Whoa. 
Uh, okay. Hmm. You are problematic. Oh, oh, oh. That was close. Just don't get trapped in there. Well, I suppose I am still strapped in here, right? I mean... Yeah, there's there's no getting out of here. I do still have to reset. But uh, thankfully it just resets my position and not my progress. I'm not sure you had to use the walls. I mean, maybe there was... No. No, you definitely did have to. Yeah, so interesting. You don't have to use the walls to actually get to the point where you can see it. But you do have to do that to actually get to it. Alright, well there's star number one. Now I'm missing, what? Uh, two more stars. Yes. Hmm. Do you think there's any other special spots around here? I'm going to go check. Well, I'm back to one of the other places where I was missing a star, and I have made no progress. I still have no idea where the star actually is. Now, I have definitely learned some new tricks, like jumping on the, uh, the missing heads of the statues, which is quite handy. And I also found out that you can do this. I'm probably going to fail at it, but let me see if I can do it. Yeah, okay, I failed at it, but uh, on both sides of this thing, if you jump off there, you can actually, like, air control your way around and jump on top of this. So I've been jumping around on all sorts of stuff. I went all the way around this thing, looking for any secrets up there, and jumping around all the places I could, and I can't find anything. Yeah, nothing special, nothing of note. I've just been jumping like crazy, and I can't find a damn thing. I did find this, um... Hold on, yellow. Let me just check something first. Green, green. He's talking about these, right? Yeah, I think he's talking about these. Okay, so I did find this, which I can't remember I ever dealt with. There's actually a locked door here. I don't remember ever getting keys or seeing keys or getting in here. Maybe I did and I just don't remember. So my first thought when I saw this was obviously, okay, the star is probably behind here, right? But as far as I can tell, it's not, because I've peeked over and there doesn't seem to be anything in there. Just some bushes, and that's it. I'm not sure if I checked it out from the other side. I can't see. I can't see, I'm too short. Yeah. I don't know. But I haven't seen any keys, and I've looked around, and I don't see any way to possibly jump up there. I mean, if you look around the outside perim uh, perimeter, there's no way I can, like, jump up on one of these walls and somehow jump over here. There's just nothing close enough. Yeah, absolutely nothing is close enough. It just ain't gonna happen. And I've tried jumping around here. Can't do it. This seemed quite possible, but nope, can't even do that. Looked around for switches? I don't know. So I don't know what's up with that, but maybe the star is in the corner? I just can't see it? Not sure. There's a paint can, too. There it is. And from what it seems, it seems like you can leave a uh, message wherever you want. 
I have no idea what's going on. Do you? So yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to write this one off for now. I have no idea. Holy crap, I just found something. Okay, rem remember this? So, so this is... Um, I should clear up, I went to zone number, what is this, I think zone number four? In the first puzzle hub? Uh, I'm sure you remember the place. This is the place where I found the walkie-talkie. The whole Sphinx thing on it. Yeah, anyway, you remember this? How I uh, jumped up over there? There's like a little ramp and then I was jumping up on here and I was looking around and thinking like, this doesn't really lead anywhere, what's the point? I was just jumping around here thinking, you know what, now that I'm better with jumping, maybe I can find some new areas to jump to, like a statue or something. And then, I was looking around, just jumping, 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 and then I saw... That! There's a fucking floppy disk! That ain't no star, but I want it. Okay, I just have to... Have to make this jump. Oh. Top secret. Where is it? I mean, I guess I need to, like, put it in a computer? Do the computers around here have floppy disk readers? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm gonna go try that in a second, but... Now I can get here, so let's take a look around. That's so fucking cool! I'm just jumping around and there's a freaking floppy disk on top of one of these, uh, pillar things. Alright, so there still is a star. So, let's keep jumping around. Uh, that doesn't help. That's not gonna go anywhere. Oh, crap. I don't think I can go back. No. No. Alright, let's go try the computer. Let's put the floppy disk in the computer. Does this thing even have a hole? Where's your floppy hole? Shit, maybe they don't. Those weren't there before. Kittens! Oh, They're top secret kitten pictures! It's all derpy looking. Grayscale, cross-eyed kitten. I'm assuming this is here because of the floppy disk? It didn't actually say, like, inserting floppy disk, but I'm assuming it is. Oh. New texts added to journal. Oh, the pictures show up there? They do. That is awesome. That is better than any gold star. Kitten pictures. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking around and I'll be right back. Oh, here we go. I just found it. I don't know how to get to it, but, um, yeah, I just totally missed it in one of the puzzle areas. See, originally I ruled out it actually being inside of one of those kind of obvious puzzle areas where, like, during a puzzle you just see it behind a force field and the, and the puzzle is not finding the star, but actually managing to get to it. I'd ruled that out, but, um, uh, apparently I just didn't very thoroughly look in this puzzle because I was literally just randomly running around and, and hopping around like this. This went into here, I was looking around, I went back here, and here it is. So I missed it because it's the pathway is hidden by a bush. There it is. By the way, it's a lot of fun to run around like this. 
Do, 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 do. It's uh, therapeutic. That's what I do to relieve stress. I just hop around as a, a robot and stare at kitten pictures. Okay, so I need red power. Well, I need red power or a... Um, uh, I totally forgot the name of it. A jammer. This puzzle only has blue power. So I need to get red power from somewhere else. Yeah, I've got two connectors, so actually bending it around the corners is not a problem. I just need to have red power accessible from somewhere else. Uh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, no, yeah, I could... Yeah, okay, I could reach that one entrance. I think that's the only one, though. Yeah, so this one better have red power or I'm screwed. Uh, does this not have red power? What the fuck? Okay. Interesting. If this doesn't have red power, then... Oh, wait a minute. If that one doesn't have red power, then I need to find one that connects to it that also has red power. And this, from here, I have multiple options. So hold on, this is where I just was, right? Yeah. This has to connect to there, and this has to connect to there. So let me guess, this one has red power. <laughs> oh, this is so cool! Come here. So this is what we need to do. What the hell are you sunken in the ground? Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we have multiple connectors. Okay, so... Couldn't quite get it all the way to the end, but we can if we do this. So this needs to connect to there, so let's put it as far right as possible. Okay, sweet. <laughs> this is so cool. Connector, please. Fuck. You bag of dicks. Fuck me in the ass. How the... F what? Okay, there's an extra connector up there. Am I supposed to get the connector? How? Now hold on, how are you supposed to, how are you supposed to solve this? I mean, that's all I need to do. Great, awesome. But... I mean, this is open. Does that... No, but this still needs to be open to get there. How? What? I felt so clever, and now I'm just defeated. Let me just question my assumptions here. I need red power. Or a jammer. I have no idea how I would get a jammer, but I do need... Red power or a jammer. Yes, or, well, if I could somehow get up there on the wall, I could jump over as well. So, red power. Or a jammer. Or I need to get on the wall. If I wanted to get on the wall, how would I do that? Yeah, sometimes you can jump up on these things, but I've never been able to jump one further. So 
It's my lovely statue, but it's not in a very good position to help me. Hmm. I don't think you can ever jump up on these things. No, they have repulsive geometry. Literally. This entire episode is just going to be me doing this stuff. It's kind of awesome, because it's actually really fun. This is a head-scratcher. Um... I mean, if I can get on one of these walls, that, prob that probably would be good enough. I mean, I can't... I can't jump on connectors, can I? kind of repulsed me. Get up there. How did I get up there before? Yeah. Repulse me. Damn you. Okay, I'm going to keep working at this and I'll be right back. Oh, oh, I just did it. I just did it. It took me like 50 jumps. But I just jumped from that little pile. That little pile there has like a slight r rise to it. And if you just hit that corner and then jump at the right time, you can get up on here. Which I think might allow me to go get that damn connector. That's what I need. I need another connector. Wait, it's fixed in place? No. No. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, shit. Maybe you're not even supposed to get up here. But oh, where does that leave me? Oh, wait, I think I know exactly where that leaves me. I know exactly where that leaves me. It means I have to do it again. Th this is gonna work. I mean, the entire point of this is just to get one of those damn connectors out of that... this little spot where it's stuck in. So, since I can't move this... That means I need to do that again, but with... the damn thing in my hand. Right? Yeah. Shit. It doesn't slow down your movement speed, does it? No, okay. So I can still make the jump. If I can do this in five tries, I won't cut this out. Otherwise, I will. Oh, it's really, really hard, by the way. You gotta hit the corner just right. Oh, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. We're outside. Okay, I just... I'm fucking breaking the game. I just took a connector outside of the puzzle room. Oh yeah. Alright, so the red's there. Uh, um, let's see. I was gonna put this connector here, on the inside. Well, now we can just hang out on the outside. <laughs> this is so cool. Am I going to have enough connectors, though? Uh, don't I need another one? Yeah, I mean... That's... I might have just done this the entirely wrong way, although if I did, then I'm really proud of myself for managing to do something the wrong way, but making it really, really difficult to do so. There's no more connectors, right? I mean, shit, I would need two more connectors. 
one. No, I, I think I need three more. All right, there's nothing in there. That's where the sigil was. I'd need one here. And then I'd need one here. Holy shit. Am I supposed to, like, steal the connectors from every single puzzle room? Can, can I really get two more? I doubt that. Just getting that one was incredibly hard. Maybe I do... Maybe I need to extract a jammer. Shit. <sighs> what am I missing? I mean, I have this connector out here. Can I do something... Super special with it? I have no idea. God damn, this is really hard. Alright, I'm gonna keep working at it. Okay. I may have just solved it. I have no idea if this is what you're intended to do. This seems insane. So I took my one free connector, the one that I, uh confiscated from that puzzle over there and at a very extreme angle I can just get it to connect to the red power and here's the reason I did that so I was thinking assuming I actually need to use power assuming I actually need to use red power to open this thing up as in not a jammer and not like some sort of a wall hack trick or a switch or something assuming I actually need to use red power I was thinking what places could I possibly get red power from? Obviously, I've tried this front entrance here, and I just I can't seem to get it to work. So then I was thinking, you know, what's high enough? What's high enough that I could put a connector onto? And that would also be in view of the one place that I can actually get red power to, that connector that I put up on something. So I was just looking around, and I realized, well, there's a little top there. There's a top there. So then I was thinking, how can I get the power up there? I realize the only place I can really jump to is the one place I already jumped up to. The place with the, uh, the kitten pictures on the floppy disk. And, uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, this is as far in the corner as it could possibly get. It's just barely missing this tree. Like, and barely missing this. I mean, these are some extremely marginal little places I'm shoving this thing in. And, well, let's see if that's high enough up there to actually reach. Please, please, please. Uh, it's gray. It can't connect when it hits the ground. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I just saw pop up. I, I just saw flicker. <gasps> no! looking to see when the uh, the other connector lights up. The problem is the freaking wall. Fuck. Fuck. I mean, I have two connectors. If, uh, if there's another place I could connect to it, that'd be awesome, but... Everywhere else has even worse walls. I mean, I can put it up here. Come on. Nope, not good enough. I'm pretty sure this is not how you're supposed to solve it, because this is so finicky, but still.
I mean, I can't just get it from here, because then I'd be doing the same thing I was doing before, and I wouldn't have enough connectors to get it around the corner. Uh, I can put this on here, but... It's, I don't think it's high... No, it's not high enough. Shit. I can put it on this, then the wall's right in the way. I think I might need to move it slightly. I need to move it where? Closer? Yeah, closer would put it at... Would give me a little bit more of an angle. I mean, look at how close it is. Like, it's saying it has a connection when it's just... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. It might be okay here. No, fuck. Like, it's doing the calculation not quite accurate. <gasps> Look at that laser! This is the most duct taped together ghetto damn puzzle solution I have ever done. I'm gonna look this up in a wiki and I'm gonna see if this is the intended solution because if this is not I'm gonna feel incredibly clever for actually beating this a different way because that was that was insane I'm really proud of myself for that. This is such an awesome day not only did I find kitten pictures but I freaking did like a I, I, I did a puzzle across the entire map, basically. That required me to steal a connector from one of the puzzle rooms by some weird means of jumping on a little tiny lip that took me like 50 tries to get right. Oh my god. Oh my god, I earned the star. I freaking earned that. Again, just a quick run through. So I just ran around like crazy trying to find stuff and then I finally found it in here. Realized I needed red power. Looked around and realized that this room doesn't have any red power so the red power must obviously come from somewhere else. And then I thought, okay, so if I'm getting red power I'm probably, probably going to be getting it in from the entrance. Like I have in the past. So then I looked and realized there's only one other place that could possibly actually beam red energy to the entrance. And that's over here. Checked over here and realized there's no red power here. But then I realized, wait, if I could connect this to red power, then I could go from, you know, one side to this side and then back. So I thought, okay, if there's red power over here, then I'm good. And it turns out there is. Getting the red power here was trivial. There's two connectors, just plopped them down, good to go. Then I went back in here to go receive the red power, and that's when I realized that the connector that's in there keeps this door open. And there's only one connector, so if you take the connector out, you can't even get out and bring the connector outside with you. You can't bring the connector to here, because when you take the connector off, it closes the door behind you. It closes the door both there and here. So, since I figured that I'm, I pretty much 100% need that connector, I fiddled around until I found out that if you jump Right there on that corner, like 50 times, you can actually get up on the wall and jump out and take the connector with you. So then I put the connector here. And then connected to it over here. And then I realized I only have one more connector after this one. So this one has to be here to receive the red. One more connector has to be here. And then I would need two more to get it to bend around. So then I was thinking either I need to move my connectors or I need more connectors. Like, either I need to receive power from a different place than the entrance here, or I need more connectors. And that's when I got to thinking about... Well, one of the things I thought about is maybe I just need a jammer. But I looked around the entire map, and there is no jammer in the entire map. None of the puzzles use, use a jammer. So, I was completely out of the picture. So then I went back over here and looked at where I could possibly receive red power from other than the entrance. Realized that there's some high places. So I put my stolen connector up on one of those high places by doing the weird jump that I did over here to get in the kit to get the kitten pictures. This one. Took my freaking connector all the way up here. And plopped it down right there. And 
because I was just barely, barely able to connect it to both areas. I mean, look at this. Like, it's almost blocked by the pillar, it's almost blocked by the tree, it's almost blocked by the wall. I could barely get it to connect over there without hitting the wall. God damn. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna look that up in the wiki, which I've never actually looked at. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I just want to see if I solve this the way that they intended you to do it. Because that seems really finicky. It's freaking awesome, and I feel proud of myself, but that seems very finicky. Which is why I suspect that it's not actually the intended method. That is the hardest puzzle I've ever done in this entire game. Okay, well... I was intending to move on to the next zone. After dealing with all these stars. Although I am still missing one star, by the way. I just, I don't know how to get it. I might come back to it later, but... Yeah, I've, I've taken a, a good pass, I think. I think a very good pass at trying to get secrets and stars and stuff like that. And I was intending to get to the next zone. But I think that's uh, more than enough for just one episode, just trying to get those stars, because that turned out much more complex than I thought. Yep, yeah, still missing two. Um... Yeah. Well, you know, let's go take a quick look in here. Let's just see if anything's changed with these weirdos playing playing games over here. Hi, Alan. What are you reading? Secret Principles of Secret Principles of Talos by Alan Latavac. A fascinating book you have there, friend. There's a computer in there. Oh my god, that's the most adorable cube I've ever seen. Look at it! Okay, I need... <gasps> what? Yeah. It's Nathan Mini-Me! Look at you! Oh! It's adorable! Look at him! I can't, t I can't touch the cube. It's not mine to touch. Oh, but he can touch it. He wouldn't put it back. Oh, he disassembles it. What an asshole. Now Nathan has to go do it again. Go, Nathan. I believe in you. Come on, yeah, go, go, go. It's okay. You can do it, I believe in you. Is he looking to me for guidance? What? I don't think he understood. Oh, there you go. And that's Nathan. And that's Nathan Mini-Me. There's two versions of him. Oh, I can't use a computer. He is so adorable. Aww. He looks crazy. So I'm looking for QR codes, hidden stars, anything. Because I never gave this place a good look. I gave it a very cursory look and then got freaked out and just ran away. Is he drumming? Because he's jamming to his tunes. Alright, so I can't actually grab any of the cubes or anything like that. So 
so they're not for me to interact with. They're for them. Are these the... Wait a minute. Remember there's some stuff saying how, like, they test, they test each puzzle to make sure that each one is solvable? Are these the people that, like, test them? Like, are these the test programs to make sure they're solvable? Or maybe there's the people that build them? Are, are they dancing? <laughs> I think these might be the people that test the puzzles or build them. I mean, look, they're moving parts of the scenery that you shouldn't be able to move. Maybe they are the builders. You seem so happy. Audio video process. He's like spawning. Oh no, he's making recordings. Yeah, and then disappears as soon as he stops the recording, right? Yep. Yep. It's making recordings. I'm assuming I will start to die if I go out into the water. Alexander Mental for Richard Where there's smoke, they pinch back For he will forever be the forum cat Meow, 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 meow What the hell? I don't know if this is meant to be like part of the story Or if this whole thing is just, just an easter egg It might just be an easter egg but then again, since the the people within this world actually did make a game, maybe this is an in-story easter egg? A game's easter egg within the game within the game? Or an easter egg of the game within this game? It's probably a better way to put it. So I don't know if these are real people or what. I mean, normally I'd say, like, these are probably Kickstarter backers, but I don't think this game was Kickstarted. So... <laughs> oh, I can't press it. Oh, it's programming stuff. It's a structure. Time spec. While one, while one, that's just an infinite loop because one is true. Always. So it infinitely prints Soronri. And then a new line. And then sleeps. So it just infinitely prints Soronri. Infinitely lonely. This is weird. I don't even know. I'm gonna get to play with fans pretty soon. If you look in the top left of the screen, I am uh, two fifths through unlocking it. What are you two doing? Cool motherfucker. Invalid encoding. Hmm. Hmm. I don't believe you. I'm gonna try to decode that, and if it decodes to something, I'm gonna put it in the description. So let me get a good view of that. 
Um, there we go. Yes, decode it. He's recording. What are y'all doing? Hmm, these don't have any, like, special heads. These look like me. The Shepherd. Sam's. Wait a minute. Sam Sarah. Haven't I seen QR codes from. Like, Sam Sarah? Or something? Even, even the Shepherd, I think. Although it's probably a different version of them. It's a little forest here. Oh, are they sunbathing? place is awesome. Alright, I think I've looked almost everywhere except here. Let's see if there's anything special going on here. Just doing the usual, messing with beams, trying to solve puzzles. And these, yeah, these can't teleport me or anything like that. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Oh my god, you're so cute. You're so cute. Can I pet you? What if I... What if I do this? Oh, I don't want to be mean. Come on through, buddy. Okay, now this episode is probably like 50 bajillion hours long. Hopefully not. Anyway, well, now I'm in a pretty good position to move on to the next place for real next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.